Right, good morning my friends. Well, it's morning for me. It could be evening when you're watching this, but it's morning for me, so good morning my friends. Just dropped H off to school there. Um, maybe I should have had uh, my other car, shouldn't I? You know, the, the Chelsea Tractor. Is that what it is? The Chelsea Tractor. There's loads of them there. Literally, you cannot hardly park up. I'm one of them people um, now that annoys the locals around the school where there's just mounds of cars, when really, you could probably just walk couldn't you that would be the idea anyway that's controversial and that's not why we're here uh, we're here because I did Weatherspoon's breakfast um, I'd probably say about a year back I'm not exactly sure before we really got into the grips of the cost of living crisis and I've had lots of people say Weatherspoon's breakfast now they're cutting back as well uh, it's not as good as it used to be and well I did a Weatherspoon's breakfast the other week I did the American breakfast and I have to say I thoroughly enjoyed it I thought it was worth every penny um, and at the moment I am trying to do um, the cost of living crisis cheaper places cheap eats uh, value for money rather than putting food on there that is just out of everybody's reach and is just ridiculous so I thought well I'll give it another go um, there's a Weatherspoons in Leeds at the train station so I thought do you know what rather than drive into Leeds park up use electricity pay for the parking I thought I'll get the train let the train take the strain uh, and I thought I'll do that and uh, we'll head off to Weatherspoons which is in the train station and we'll go and get the full English breakfast again. Now, um, we'll mark it out of 10, see whether it's uh, whether they've done any cutbacks on it, you know, whether they've cheapened items, whether it's still as, it was, last time I had it, it was, I enjoyed it from, from memory. I thought it was great value for money. So that's where we're going today. I want you to mark it out of 10 as well. Um, this is gonna be my last breakfast before I head off to Anglesey and I'm going to take you guys with me I'm going from Anglesey in my electric car all the way over to the east coast of England along the way I'm going to be uh, heading off to uh, James May's pub as well for fish and chips uh, I might have to take a bit of a detour there so I'm looking forward to that one um, one second here we go turn on here Anyway, if you're new to the channel, do hit the subscribe button. Click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Subscription is free. It's not like a magazine. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Tell you what, it's getting a bit nippy now, isn't it? Winter's setting in. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I like the different seasons, but I think summer's my favourite. Spring and summer. Anyway, that, we're not here for that, are we? We off to get to to, wet, to get to spoons, aren't we? So I've got the uh, train ticket. We're gonna we're at Pudsey. We're gonna head into Leeds, and hopefully, come on, weather spoons. Don't let me down. The breakfast is gonna be as good as it was last time I went. Come on, onwards. in Leeds, ready to go to Spoons. Now, before we go to Spoons, Spoons, everybody calls it that now, do you call it Spoons? Pop it in the comment section down below. I've got to say, there are a few Spoons snobs, and they will be in the comment section of this video. I can see them, I can hear them now. Oh, won't be seen dead in Spoons, won't catch me in a Spoons. Oh, the dregs, it's just full of dregs, it's rubbish, blah, blah, blah. Just 
stop there, stop right there, right? Just, just open up a little bit. There's nothing wrong with spoons. However, I will say some spoons are better than others. Some weather spoons are better than others. But, you know, it offers, and, and you've even seen it in there, they'll go, it's cheap beer, it's just about to go off. So what if it's just about to go off? If it's just out, just about to go out of date, he buys loads of, and there's lots and lots of different fake news about the guy who owns weather spoons as well. Put that aside, he's offering cheap beer, cheap food, and it's somewhere to socialize. So just relax a little bit, see it for what it is. I like a weather spoons. Some of them are very good. Now, I haven't been in this one for a long time. In fact, it did appear on one of my very early vlogs. Uh, so anyway, let's enough of the talking. Let's go and try out the Weatherspoons big breakfast. Come on. Here we are, weather spoons in Leeds, Leeds train station. I can actually see some people through the window there having the uh, the big breakfast along with a pint. I mean, that's controversial. Uh, I won't be having a pint with mine. I think it might be the endless coffee or tea or whatever it is. Uh, I think we'll go for that instead. A bit too early for a pint. I mean, it's only half past nine. Come on, or is it? Comments down below. Okay, well, I did go inside uh, Weatherspoons there uh, and get a table, but um, I sat down and uh, I asked the gentleman to uh, um, just, if you'd mind, moving some of the uh, stuff off the table, which he did, moved a load of pots and uh, cutlery, etc. Uh, but then didn't wipe the table down, so uh, I've come out here on the concourse, but uh, it's a little bit tidier and I can speak to you guys without bothering everybody in there as well. Uh, before we go any further though, take a close look at the menu. Let me know what the prices are like, because I do know that Weatherspoon's prices do differ um, from place to place and area to area, like London's a lot more expensive, etc. Is it more expensive because it's in a train station? Let me know in the comments section down below. Uh, and I'm gonna order this on the app and uh, I'm gonna order the, uh, the large breakfast and I'll let you know what it costs in a minute. So have a look at the menu and let me know the prices, uh, what, what they compare like to where you are in the comment section down below. Right, okay, so that's breakfast ordered. I've gone for the large breakfast, which was six pounds and 30 pence. Uh, a coffee with free refills. You could sit in here all day, I guess, if you want. I don't know if there's any uh, small print to that. Not that I'd want to sit in here all day. Uh, for one pound 25, I mean, come on. One pound 25, you can have latte and an espresso or whatever you want and just keep getting your free refills. I mean, that's 
a slap in the face for Costa, isn't it? Uh, £7.55 in total. So uh, now then, the last time I had this, I thoroughly, <coughs> excuse me, thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, But I have had lots and lots of comments saying that the breakfast has gone downhill uh, since the cost of living crisis has uh, taken uh, grip. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, now, there's a drinks menu here as well. Have a look at this drinks menu. Again, let me know what the prices are like compared to where you are. Right, so he's brought me my cup. Uh, what you've got to do is, you've got to go and uh, fill it up yourself, self-service. Well, it's a bit dirty in the bottom of it, I've got to say. Uh, could have done with a bit of better clean than that, but anyway, let's get in there. Right, okay, so uh, I've gone and uh, ch changed the cup, by the way. I've got a cleaner cup. Um, I couldn't go with a dirtier cup. Uh, I've got back in the breakfast here already. That was ultra quick. Um, so before we go any further, take a closer look, my friends. Right, my friends, so first things first, toast, not pre-buttered, and believe it or not, it's Lurpak, uh, which costs uh, a small fortune these days, doesn't it? Um, so we've got uh, the toast there, we've got three hash browns, uh, we've got the bacon, um, small pieces of bacon, I have to say. The eggs, for me, look pretty good, I have to say. Um, got a nice glaze over the top of them there. Uh, we've got the mushroom there, one mushroom, now this is a big breakfast but it doesn't look overly big I have to say however for the price uh, we'll, uh, we'll go for it got some HP sauce on there that I've dispensed you've also got Heinz tomato ketchup as well uh, we'll go in for the sausage here we go sausage is pretty good to be fair beans Beans are good. Right, going for the bacon. Not too much fat on it, but then again, there's not too much bacon either, is there? Um, okay, here we go, going for the bacon. Bacon's not bad. Slight saltiness to it. Hash browns. A little bit soggy on the hash brown, I have to say. Right, let's go in for the egg. Let's break this yolk and see what that's like. I have to say, uh, the egg, for me, is done to perfection there. Um, dip that in. Very good, right. I'll eat this, come back to you, and then we'll mark it out of 10.
Right, so far so good. My only issue so far is with the hash browns. They are a little greasy. Uh, we'll try the coffee. Well, actually, coffee's pretty good. Uh, I might have to have another cup of uh, coffee. Uh, I'm going to eat this, um, eat the rest of this. I, I think I may have to leave the, hash, the couple of hash browns there, uh, but the rest of it, uh, very good. Beans are nice. Um, all seems very, very good, I have to say. So I'll see you guys um, outside. Get your scores at the ready. Right, well, okay, let's get down to business. Well, I'm always honest, that's the best way to be. My dad was a copper and he always said, just be honest, then you'll never get yourself into any trouble. So, I'm gonna be honest. I think weather spoons can be a bit hit and miss, dependent upon which spoons that you go in. I mean, the one that I went to in Mansfield the other week to have the American breakfast was excellent. It was first class, it was clean, it made a whole lot of difference. Um, that place seemed a little bit dirty, however, it is in a train station or a railway station. So it's got thousands and thousands of people going in and out of there. Um, the, so the, the breakfast itself, the cleanliness wasn't the cleanest of places, um, as you saw with the table and, the, uh, and also the cup. Um, however, let's get out to business with the breakfast. The hash browns were, were greasy, I couldn't eat them. Uh, the sausages, a little bit like a poodle's willy, catering sausage, I've said that before. Um, however, it is what it is, what do you expect on a breakfast like uh, that, and for the price especially. Um, bacon, I, I expected, it was tiny, wasn't it? I mean, did it, did it look like it had shrunk? <laughs> um, the beans were nice, a little bit congealed, but nice. The eggs for me, perfect. Hats, up, hats off to whoever did them eggs. For me, spot on. Um, the mushroom, uh, I left the mushroom, I ate a little bit of it, but it was not the best. Um, the toast, good. Lure pack as well, top marks. Uh, so, coffee, spot on. Has Weatherspoon's breakfast gone downhill? From the last one that I had, it wasn't as, uh, it wasn't as good an experience, but as I say, it all differs on which weather spoons that you go to. And in this day and age, that was filling. It set me up for the day, really. It was enough. I got the toast there. It wasn't the biggest of breakfast, though, was it, if we're being honest? So I'm going to go for this one. And as I say, I'd like your... Do you know what? This is a bit difficult because I think... It is very difficult because it, it does differ on what spoons you go in. So I'm going to go with this one. Yeah, I know you're going to tell me, you, you tell me whether I'm wrong or right. I'm going to go 7.9, I think, on that one. It's not a bad score. It's not the best score. And it is good value for money. That's what I'm taking into account. And I'm also taking into account and giving the benefit of the doubt that it does differ at different spoons. So that's my score. Has it gone downhill? Wasn't as, wasn't the, wasn't as good of experience as the one I went to last time in Pudsey. Have a look back at that one uh, and see what you think. Compare them both and let me know in the comment section down below. Now then, as I say, I'm taking my electric car uh, all the way uh, from uh, Wales over to so the west coast of uh, Wales, right over to the east coast. I'm going to be going down to, to um, what's his name, Captain Slow off of uh, Top Gear, uh, James May. I'm going to be going to his pub. Uh, I'm going to be going all over the place. So join me on that journey as well. Uh, I might try and fit another video in before I go there as well. Uh, if you are new to the channel, do hit the subscribe button. Click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Yes, it's free. Subscription is free, it doesn't cost you a penny. It's not like the BBC or Sky. Uh, so there we go, thank goodness. Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.